What's up YouTube? My name is Blake Hope and welcome to my channel. Um, this year, 2023, I'm going to be hiking the Appalachian Trail and this is the gear I'm bringing. Alright, well before we get into the pack, I want to go over what I will be wearing as my base layer and my shoes and stuff. So let's just set this to the side right now. All right, for my footwear, I'm going to be rocking the Ultra Lone Peak Sixes. Um, for the insoles, I have just Dr. Scholl's work in insoles. I really like those for. Uh, you know, the extra arch support. Uh, so I have those. For underwear, I'm going to be rocking the Ex, Ex Officio. These are the nine inch uh, sport briefs. For socks, I'm gonna be rocking Darn Tough. These are the uh, crew length um, yeah, I wear these every day. They're, they're awesome. Uh, what else we got? We got my shorts. These are some just Nike running shorts. Um, seven inch inseam. Um, I like them. They, um, I got a lot of mo mobility in them and they dry pretty fast. And for my shirt... This is a Under Armour dry fit t-shirt. And I will also be wearing a fanny pack. This is the Waymark zip fanny pack. Um, I like it a lot. Um, what's going to be in here is all of my electronics. Um, and I'll just get into my electronics. These are my earbuds. They are Bluetooth ear, uh, earbuds by Beats. Um, I like these a lot. I just wear them around my neck. They kind of have like a stiff piece around here that kind of holds it right here. Um, they have magnetic, so it's kind of like you're just wearing a necklace and you're not using them. And then when you want to use them, you just stick them in your ears. And they also have a built-in microphone on the left side, volume on the left side, and the power buttons on the right. All right and then everything else I keep in a zip, uh, quart Ziploc bag. I will have, I mean, to charge my phone that I'm going to be bringing, which I'm filming on at the moment. It is a iPhone 13 Pro Max and uh, the tripod that it's on is an ultra pod and then i have just a uh, like a phone clamp i'll overlay a picture of that but to keep my electronics charged i'm going to be using these uh, nightcore nb 10,000 milliamp i have two of them um, this is the older model and then i have one of the uh, newer model these are both at 10,000 so that's 20,000 milliamp hours And to charge, well, I'm also bringing a, a wall plug adapter. This has a USB-C power delivery and a USB-A um, there as well. And I'm bringing three charging cables, uh, one USB-A to USB-C, and then a USB-C to USB-C. And this one is the charging cable for my watch, um, which I can tell you then. I'll be carrying this watch. This is a Garmin Instinct. Um, I mainly use it for heart rate monitor, step count, and the date, and the time, you know. <laughs> uh, what else I got here? 
to go through this right here. And I have two little cord adapters. They're, they're USB-C adapters, so um, I have one that's a lightning adapter, so it'll allow me to charge my phone with the USB-C cord. And then I have another one that is a micro USB that will allow me to charge some of my other electronics that I'll get to in a little bit. Um, oh, here's one of them. This is a little Bluetooth shutter button so that um, if I want to set up my camera for a shot, I can walk away and still be able to take a picture instead of having to set up like a 10 second timer or something. Um, but this is actually rechargeable, which is really cool. Um, the It recharges micro USB. Um, but yeah, really awesome. I don't have to worry about those little, uh, little coin batteries, CR batteries. And I will be vlogging my through hike. Um, uh, I want to shoot daily vlogs, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, right now I want to do daily vlogs, but it, it may end up being weekly vlogs. Um, but to store all the video footage and photos that I'll be having, I'm going to need something bigger than what is on my uh, iPhone. So I got one of these Samsung SSD drives. This is a T7. Um, this is one terabyte. I think it'll be enough, but um, if it's not, I can order another one. Um, but uh, yeah, but this has a USB-C connector and you know, iPhone only has the lightning. So I needed to get a adapter that will plug into my phone and then I can put in a USB-A here USB or USB A to USB C to plug into my uh, hard drive, and that will allow me to transfer st uh, storage files, video files, photo files to and from my phone to the external SSD drive. So I have those. And then the only other thing in here is a little uh, lens cleaning cloth so I can wipe off the iPhone lens. And then I keep a couple, uh, these are desiccant um, little packs. You can find these like in chip bags or electronic bags. Um, you know, they're what we call rat poison, but uh, um, what they are is moisture absorbers. Um, so they, you know, if water was to get in there, hopefully this stuff can, it'll be attracted to this stuff instead of my electronics. So, I keep those. And that is everything I keep in, oh no, it's not. This is also where I will keep my wallet. Um, I just got some cash in here right now, but um, it'll end up having um, my ID and my cards in here as well. It's just a Ziploc. Okay, that is it here. Um, all right, well, let's get in to my pack. All right, this is a Waymark Lite. Um, it is a 50 liter total volume um, pack. It's 40 liters in the main compartment and then an extra 10 liters on the outside, the water bottle pockets, this and this outside stretch pocket, which makes it a 50 liter backpack. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go over, I'll, I'll just go one by one what I got here. Um, I'll start in the, start right here. These are my trekking poles. These are black diamond trail corks. Um, they're aluminum poles. I've never used carbon fiber. Um, I'm a big fan of the Cascade Mountain Techs, but then I uh, graduated to a black diamond um, just because I wanted the, uh, to be able to, when these tips um, break down, I can buy replacements. Um, but yeah, um, I also have duct tape on both of them because I'm OCD like that. Um, but yeah, so far these are awesome. They have a uh, cork handles, yeah, called trail corks, and then a uh, like a I think this is like an EVA foam or something there, and the straps are really comfortable. But yes, I'll come back to these later when I'm going over my shelter. Um, inside the stretch pocket. I keep my camp shoes. 
Um, I was on the fence about bringing these, but um, just the added comfort to have another shoe to slip into at camp or whenever you got to use the restroom in the middle of the night in your, when you're in your tent, just something to slip into easy so you can walk away from camp or, um, yeah, but also having something whenever I'm in a town, I can uh, slip into and just walk around and with these and same, um, their good shower shoe as well. Um, but yeah, I, I really love my Crocs. Um, they do, it's an extra pound of weight. Um, they're about eight to nine ounces a piece. Um, but uh, yeah, but I keep them on the outside of my pack here. I really like my Crocs. And then inside my Crocs in here is where I keep my, my rain gear. Um, these are, my rain gear is the Outdoor Research Heliums um, set. I got, these are my rain pants. Rain pants, these are great for added warmth. I'm, I'll mainly be using them for added warmth. Um, I don't, I mean, if it's a downpour, I don't know. Um, but this is mainly just a warmth layer for me as far as the pants. Um, early mornings, wearing these until you warm up and then just taking them off. But they do have a snap button at the bottom and a like a quarter zip. Um, it's big enough to where I can slide my slide these on and off with my shoes on, so which is nice. Okay, yeah, outdoor research helium pants, and this is the outdoor research helium rain jacket. Really love this jacket. Um, we'll. It only, it weighs like six ounces. Same thing with the pants, it's around six ounces. Um, I really like it. It's not the most breathable jacket, but um, it does the job. Um, keep me dry. All, I mean, you'll eventually wet out depending on how much rain you're getting, but uh, it's also a great windbreaker. But uh, yeah, I love hiking in this. And the other thing in this outstretched pocket is, um, this is called a Swedish, Swedish dish cloth. Um, it's basically a chamois. Um, it kind of feels all cardboardy and everything, but it absorbs water very well. And it's just the perfect little size. I'm, I will use this mainly for drying off my tent on the inside through condensation. And uh, whenever it's rain on the outside, before I pack it up, I'll go ahead and wipe the whole thing down. Uh, yeah, this works really good. Swedish dish cloth. And that's everything I keep on the outside of this pack. Um, what this this is ultra stretch material here. It, this is also good for if you have wet pieces of gear, just sticking it here and letting the air as you hike just dry it. Um, but this is my first pack with this ultra stretch. It's not as stretchy as the um, lycra material that they used to have on Waymark packs. I I have an Evolve as well that has that, and. Um, I, it is definitely not as stretchy, but it's supposedly um, really durable. But um, it's able to fit two Crocs in there. Um, it's a little snug, but yeah. Um, all right, let's get into the water bottle pockets. For my water storage, I will be bringing two one liter, these are life water bottles. Um, but yeah, for, I, I like, and th this thing on here is my filter. This is a Sawyer Squeeze, the full size. Um, I love this filter and most of the time, I mean, there's supposed to be a lot of water on the Appalachian Trail. So most of the time I'll just fill up this one liter and just sip straight through the, uh, the filter, just like that. Um, yeah, but if I need extra water, I can then filter into, into this guy, store it and then still sip from this. And if I need even more water storage, I have a peanut butter jar. Um, yeah, I'm a cold soaker. Um, when I'm not cold soaking food, I can use this as extra water. So that would give me like two and a half, something like that, uh, total water capacity. Um, but yeah, I use this as a, this is a peanut butter jar. It's not the smallest one. It's not the, the 16 ounce. It's the one bigger than that. I think it's like a 24, 28 or something. Um, but yeah, it's just a Peter Pan uh, peanut butter jar. Um, what I like to do is uh, cold soak my oatmeal in, in the morning and I also cold soak my dinners like instant mashed potatoes, instant rice, ramen, couscous, things like that. But 
Hey, bird door. And for this guy, I'm gonna take a while going, getting into. Um, well, let me just go over this guy first. This is my ass pad, butt pad. Uh, if I'm gonna take a break or anything, uh, this is just a foam, like a accordion little pad um, that I can sit on instead of getting my, you know, knees dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now. Here, I also use it as uh, kind of my like welcome mat or, uh, you know, in front in front of my tent so I can get on my knees here while I'm setting up my tent and stuff. Uh, yeah, I really love my little foam mat. It's just an Amazon cheap one. Um, okay, this is my ditty bag. Um, it's got, well, all of my ditties. Let me uh, just go on here. All right, this has, if I need to go number two in the woods, um, I keep a four Ziploc of toilet paper. Um, I just have a lot of toilet paper just watered up here, but I may just end up buying just like a one roll and just squashing it in here. Um, and then if I need to uh, dig a hole to go number two, I have a deuce of spades. Uh, this is the number two um, trowel. Just to dig a six inch hole, do your business, and then this to, you know, you know. And, uh, uh, this is my repair kit. Um, this is self repair and gear repair. Um, I'll just say I have a, uh, it's a safety pin to pop blisters. I have a extra O-ring for my Sawyer squeeze. There, um, there's an O-ring inside here and it likes to fall out a lot. Um, but if I did happen to lose it, um, it's kind of like a gasket that helps the seal there but if it popped out and I lose it I do have a spare. Um, I have a tube of Gorilla Super Glue. I have gauze. I have a lighter with Luco tape. Um, I don't carry any band-aids. What I would do is I would cut off a piece of that gauze and then that Luco tape. I would, I would stick it on the Luco tape and make my own band-aid out of that. Uh, I have a couple little small zip ties and then I have a lot of, uh, well not a lot but uh, this is gear tape that I can use to um, patch some of my gear. I got some Dyneema tape in here for my tent. Um, yeah, just some self-repair stuff and gear repair. I have a bamboo toothbrush with, uh, I have a thing of floss. I just took the little wheel of floss out of a floss container. And then for toothpaste, these are toothpaste tablets. Um, this is just what I have left over. Um, once I use these, I'm just going to just buy a little travel size uh, thing of toothpaste. But, yeah. Another thing of chapstick. Uh, this is called Bitch Sticks. Um, SBF 30 chapstick. It's good stuff. Um, to go with doing a number two in the woods, to help yourself clean up a little better, I carry these little wissy wipes. They're just little coins that whenever you put water on them, they absorb the water and they turn into like a little wet wipe. Um, but I even go a step further with that and I use a, I use a bottle cap and then I stick a wissy wipe in the bottle cap. And then I'll put a little drop of this soap, which this is Dr. Bronner's soap. I'll put a drop or two in the uh, sports cap or the bottle cap and then I'll pour a little bit of water, which is close to a tablespoon, and it'll absorb that water and the soap, making a little soapy wet wipe. And you can wipe up, or even at the end of a day of hiking, you can clean off your, your feet with it. Uh, but this is kind of my sanitation station. Uh, I have for bug repellent, these are just what I have left over. I was gonna use them all up, and then after this, um, just buy a spray, um, just like a little squirt spray, bug spray. But these are uh, Natropel 20% Picardin wipes. Um, one of these I can usually get um, my lower legs, uh, my neck, my arms, and I usually go around my waistline uh, with just with just one of these. So, but this will get me for a while, and then I'll just buy a. Uh, tube of bug spray. Uh, these are two fire starters. 
they're just uh, makeup removal um, cotton wipes and I just kind of sandwich them well in between them I put a uh, petroleum jelly in between them and then just sandwich them and just keeps it a little uh, I like using the uh, makeup removal wipes better than cotton balls because it's, it's not as messy but just, just two of them just in case I don't plan on doing any fires but if, if I need it or someone else needs it I got it um, this is my medication. Uh, it's mainly ibuprofen, vitamin I. Uh, I have Tylenol PMs in here, Excedrin migraine, and some Zyrtex just for allergies. But um, yeah, it's mainly the pills I use. This is a little stick of outdoor body glide. Um, this is just for chafing issues, just your, you know, nether regions. I don't use it for anything else. Got a wasp flying around me. Fuck out of here. Um, uh, this is a, um, a massage cork ball. Um, this is for rolling out my feet, my calves. Uh, my feet, calves. Um, IT band, uh, rolling out my glutes just at the end of a, a long day. It's nice. I'm a big fan of foam rolling at the gym, and uh, this is just a like a mini foam roller for me. And it's light, only weighs like an ounce, 1.2 ounces. Um, I think I think it'll come in handy. And then I have a pen. This is just a Sharpie gel pen. And for sleeping in shelters or hostels and there's snores, I have just two earplugs. Um, yeah. And that's about it. I also have some of those little desiccant um, things just to keep moisture out of my uh, day bag. And there's a couple rubber bands in there. But yeah, I just keep all that in just a Ziploc, um, a gallon size Ziploc bag and it just stays in my water bottle pouch. All right, um, let's get into my shoulder straps, or what's on my shoulder straps. Um, I'm going to be videoing with my iPhone, and I like to have my tripod and my iPhone connected to my shoulder strap right on this phone clip. Um, I found that if I have a phone or a camera easily accessible, I will take more footage and or uh, take more video and more photos so uh, but I, I have a phone clip on here and this is a picture of my dog um, this is Marley girl um, she died almost a year ago but uh, I'm gonna take this picture uh, with me um, uh, I don't have anything else on my shoulder straps um, I do have two hip belt pockets this one on the left side doesn't have anything in it. This is where I keep all of my uh, snacks. Um, trail mix, bars, all go in this left um, shoulder pocket or hip belt pocket. And then on the right side is where I keep all of my stuff that I want quick access to. Um, this could be counted as worn gear. This is a Appalachian Trail um, buff. It's a really cool buff. It's got a map of the whole trail on there. It's got a bear and a moose on it. Um, that's my buff. I also keep a bug net. Uh, this is like a bug head net. You just stick it over your head whenever it's really buggy. You can cinch it around your neck. Um, keep some mosquitoes out of your face. So that's that. I also keep my spork. Um, I mentioned I'm a cold soaker. Um, I do like to eat on the go um, and having a spork handy. Uh, uh, having a, a spork, you know, right here allows me to eat on the go a lot easier. Um, yeah, this is just a Snow Peak Titanium Spork. It's green. It's cool. Uh, I also keep my only tool um, and knife is a little, uh, what is this, a Swiss Army Classic. A little mini guy right here. Um, it's got a scissors which is the main thing i use it for to cut a uh, tape and gauze or um, cordage there it has a little knife and a file 
um, screwdriver, a little pry tool on there as well. And to pull off ticks, it has little tweezers. And a toothpick. But yeah, and it's camo. Uh, this is my headlamp. This is the Nightcore um, NU25 headlamp with a little shot cord mod. <laughs> uh, I, I love this headlamp. It's got a, um, a white light with multiple brightness settings and a red light. Uh, and yeah, it's got the little shot cord, shot cord mod headband. It uh, recharges it recharges micro USB as well, and I, I use that micro USB adapter onto a USB-C cord to uh, charge this. And I keep a Garmin InReach Mini 2 in that pocket too. As well, I mean, if I need to clip this onto my shoulder strap, I might do that, but um, I, I'm only gonna use it to just send messages when I don't have cell signal, so. Uh, yeah, but you can check weather on this, and it has the SOS function in case um, I need some serious help. So, yeah. Uh, that's all I keep in this side pocket. All right, that is everything on the outside. Let's uh, get into the main stuff. This has a roll top closure on the top with a little Velcro strip. And the first thing I keep on the top of, of all my other stuff is my shelter. It's the first thing I need when I get to camp, especially if it's raining. Um, this is the z -Pax Flex Solo. Um, it's a one-person tent. Um, it takes 10, well, I think a minimum of six stakes to stake it out, um, but you can do a total of 10. Uh, it's, it's just a one-person shelter, and it has enough space to... Um, fit my my gear in there as well um i'm 511 i would say if you're six feet or taller um this is not the tent for you i would go for the altiplex but uh if you're below six feet because i think i'm about the biggest person that you can fit in this tent um these stakes that i use i keep my steak bag in here as well the stakes i use are the msr mini groundhogs uh, the one out here. They're just the Y style stakes. I really like these. Um, and I keep them in a, uh, this is a Hartford Gear uh, Dyneema little stuff sack. Stake stuff, stuff sack. Just a little drawstring. Yeah. Oh, and this is a trekking pole tent. So it doesn't have any poles. What you use is one single trekking pole. And it is, it's like a TP style tent where this is the main uh, support. And then you uh, use tension with all the guy lines to make your, your shelter. Um, I'll try and overlay a picture of what that looks like. All right, the next thing is my mid layer of choice. Um, this is a Kuyu Peloton 97. Um, it has a hood, it has thumb holes, and a quarter zip to help with uh, breathability. Um, this thing is awesome. It weighs like five and a half ounces. Um, if you got the one with no hood, it'd be five ounces. But, uh, yeah, this is great. Um, I love hiking in this. If it's below 50, 40 degrees hiking in this, it's, it's perfect. Um, maybe even a little below that. Uh, yeah, um, I use this as also like a, uh, a sleep layer to go over my, my sleep shirt, um, just to keep me a little more warm, but other than that, this is, this is an awesome hiking layer. Next thing on here is my food bag. Um, this is a um, hill, Hilltop Packs, Hilltop Packs, um, this is the large food bag that they have. It can easily fit, you know, five, six, seven days of food in there. Um, I believe it's the X-Pack material. Could be Eco-Pack, maybe. 
keep a gallon trash bag in here. All of my trash from all my food goes in here, and then whenever I get to a trash can or a dumpster, I can empty it out. And to hang my food bag, um, this is a uh, Hilltop Packs, the, the rock bag. It's got a carabiner, and inside is 50 feet of zingit, orange zingit line. And up against the back of my pack, this is a Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch foam pad. Um, if I'm cowboy camping, I may just sleep on this. Um, uh, but this is also, I mainly use this as protection to my actual sleeping pad, which I'll get into. Um, but I stick this under my sleeping, or I stick this first in my tent and then I stick my sleeping pad over it just to help protect any sharp objects from popping my air pad. Um, yeah, or if I'm just taking a break or something, I can just lay down on this. Um, I could put this down to, uh, you know, foam roll my, my feet. Um, this is, there's, there's a lot of uses with this piece of gear. I really like it and it, it's super light. This is my puffy jacket. This is the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex Pullover. Um, it's not the full zip jacket, it's the pullover. It's got the, uh, the uh, kangaroo pouch. Um, this thing weighs like 8.9 ounces or 9 ounces, something like that. Um, it only has the half zip and it's basically like a, like a pullover hoodie um, with a kangaroo pouch, but it's a puffy jacket. Um, love this thing. This also makes a great pillow. Yeah, and what I like to do is roll it up into the hood and then you have a pretty good little circle sized pillow. The uh, sleeping pad that I was talking about, um, this is it. This is the Thermares NeoAir Uberlight. Um, it is the full size and the wide version, so it's 25 inches wide. Um, it is wider than that foam pad, but I still put the foam pad down there just to add some extra protection. But uh, I'm, I'm a pretty warm sleeper. I don't really need um, an, a high R value. This R value is like two or 2.2 or something. Um, the foam pad adds like 0.5 maybe, who knows. But uh, uh, yeah, I mainly got this for the weight savings, but, and I also don't really need a warm sleeping pad. Now we're getting into some of my clothes. These are the Patagonia Capilene leggings. Um, I mainly use these as just to sleep in when it's cold outside. Um, I may hike in these if it's a chilly morning, but most of the time I'll just stick on my rain pants. But uh, um, yeah, they're just Patagonia Capilene uh, leggings. Um, this is a second pair of hiking socks. Um, I have one pair, I have two pairs of uh, darn tough hiking socks. One I'll hike in um, one day, and then maybe the next day I'll hike in this one. Um, but it's just a second pair in case these were really soaked, I can have a dry pair of socks. Um, I'm actually bringing another pair of socks as well, and these are sleep socks. These are also darn tough. They are a thicker wool. Um, they're a lot thicker and they're a lot heavier. They're like twice as heavy as, um, these guys. Um, they do have a hole in them. Um, if I come up across an outfitter that, uh, you know, honors the Darn Tough warranty, I may just switch them out and then just get another pair of just regular Darn Tough. We'll, we'll see, but uh, these are really warm. Um, for a pillow, I mean, you know, I could use this as a pillow, but let's say if it was really cold, I'm probably gonna be sleeping in this and I'll probably still need a pillow. Um, this is the Nemo Philo Elite. It's super comfortable. Um, it's very small. Um, it weighs like 2.7, maybe like three ounces, something like that. Um, but it's comfortable and I think sleep's important and having a nice pillow. Um, it, it's inflatable, but it also has a very soft fill. Um, I'll overlay another picture of this. Uh, 
I am bringing another pair of ex officio boxer briefs, or they're the nine inch sports briefs, um, just to interchange in case those got super filthy. Um, I was on the fence about bringing another pair of underwear, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it. Um, they only weigh like two, two ounces, so. And then this is a sleep shirt. I want to use it primarily for sleep, but it, this could end up being a second hiking shirt. It's another Under Armour dry fit. So I have the gray one that I'm going to hike in, and then the black one I'm going to sleep in. And then if that one is, let's say I'm on like a three day uh, stint, like I could hike in that one two days, and then on the third day if I'm hiking into town, I could switch into this and just uh, rock it when I go into town. Okay, and last thing here is my quilt. This is the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Apex, um, which means it's not down; it's their uh, their synthetic. So it's a big boy. <laughs> it doesn't really it doesn't really uh, compact. Oh, well, it's not as good as down, but it still compacts pretty well. I mean, it'll go to like the bottom third of this backpack. Um, uh, this is a quilt and um, it's not a sleeping bag. Um, which the difference between that is the, it doesn't have a backside or a hood that comes over you like a traditional sleeping bag. Um, this just zips to about your knee length, maybe a little shorter. And the back of it, it just kind of drapes over you. Um, it does come with attachments that will allow you to attach it to a sleeping bed or sleeping pad, but I don't use those, but it would make it wrap around your body a little better. Um, but yeah, you're basically just with a quilt, you're saving, you're saving weight from the, not having the backside of a, of a sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, this is a 20 degree. Um, I would not say that is a comfort rating. I would say that's a uh, survival rate. Um, really anything below 30, um, if you're just wearing just normal base layer sleeping clothes um anything below 30 with this it, you you feel it it's kind of cold um but if it if it does go below 30 um which i'm starting the trail in the middle of april so i don't think i'm gonna have too many nights that are um cold um and but if i do if it did dip below in, in the 20s um i could i could just put more layers on i could put this and i'm good um, I could put on my rain pants if I need more warmth in my, um, there. I could put on more layers to get warm. Um, but yeah, this is a 20 degree Revelation Apex. Um, it's the one that's got the zip foot box and also has the cinch here. Um, if I did unzip this and uncinched it, I could fold it all out and it would be like a, like a big blanket. Um, which I may do once it warms up. I'll probably definitely do that. Or you can kick a leg out, whatever you want to do to, uh, get comfortable. But yeah, what else I got in here? This, all right, this material, this pack is made out of eco pack. Um, I think the material is supposedly waterproof, um, waterproof, uh, uh, but where water can get in is where the like at the stitches and stuff. Um, I mean, is anything really waterproof? But just for extra, um, because I'm not bringing a pack you know, a pack liner or pack cover to um, keep the rain out. What I'm doing is it's just a trash compactor bag and I stuff it in here and then anything I really want to keep dry. So quilt, clothes, quilt and clothes, um, I will shove down in here and compress it. And it's just an extra waterproof layer. Cause this thing is damn near waterproof unless it gets a hole in it or something. So it's just a cheap compactor bag. Um, it also helps to compress it all the way down. So I'll compress it all the way and then I'll, I'll end up twisting it a few times and then just tucking that twist down in there. And then that just keeps it, um, everything else extra dry. Cause really my tent, it doesn't need to stay dry. And my food bag is, um, doesn't really need to stay dry as well either because all my foods and Ziploc bags in there. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, That's my pack Waymark light um, It's super comfortable. Love this pack. It's got a uh, really nice um, foam lumbar support and a big hip belt um, these sh um, 
hip belt pockets, they are sold separately. Um, I had already had them. I used them on my uh, Waymark Evolve, so I stuck them on there. And uh, yeah, that's my back. Um, yeah, but if you're watching this video, I am already on the trail. Um, if you want to follow along, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions about any of my gear, anything I might have left out or said wrong, just go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at Amicalola.